Here's how the Notre Dame Paris Cathedral fire all happened and how that fire grew completely wild. Find out next. Welcome back to the channel, Shakers. Derek Van Shake here. In November 2011, I visited Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France. Pictures don't do it justice. We don't have structures that old and that massive here in the United States. Many of you saw in the news the Notre Dame Paris Cathedral fire, which almost completely destroyed the French Gothic Cathedral. We're going to investigate and reveal how the massive Notre Dame Cathedral fire on April 15th 2019 all happened, while also revealing why the fire grew so wild so quickly. Now let's get started by turning back the clock one year before the fire. Beyond its facade, this majestic medieval monument is falling apart. Michel Picot is raising money to keep the cathedral from crumbling. On the roof, he showed us walls chipping, stones stapled together wooden railing which has been uh, put to replace the original. Eroding the flying buttresses that prop the cathedral up. There's a risk to the whole yes, cathedral yes, exactly. falling down. Yes, exactly. Some Americans may ask, why should we help pay to fix your national monument? It's really a, a worldwide monument. The monument last got a major makeover more than 150 years ago, inspired partly by Victor Hugo's description of its decaying state in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. We had to put straps around the statue to keep it in place. The stones are getting completely worn down. Notre Dame's spire measures 100 meters from the ground. Its restoration began last year as part of a 60 million euro project over 10 years. The French government is covering two thirds of the costs but the church has to find the remaining 20 million euros. From afar, the 850 plus year old cathedral looked fine, but look closer and she was clearly in really bad shape. How many 850 year old plus buildings are still standing and also still in operation? They were having extreme difficulty getting funding for her desperately needed repairs. People seem to either believe that she didn't need repair or simply have taken her for granted, like she will always be with us because she was here for so many generations. A fire has broken out at the world famous Paris landmark Notre Dame Cathedral. The cause is not clear. The fire broke out in the last hour. Officials say it could be linked to renovation work going on at the 850 year old cathedral. Bands of firefighters are tackling the billowing flames. They don't have any, any control of the fire. That, that fire is just roaring. From what I'm seeing, Ken, this, I, can't, I can barely see the spire. The base of it looks completely engulfed at this point. This is considered one of the most extraordinary cathedrals on Earth. Oh, it's religiously significant, Stephanie. It's, it's architecturally significant. This magnificent Gothic cathedral was built in the 12th century, and it's been made famous across the globe through art, literature, music, even Disney cartoons. And to watch this fire is just heartbreaking. From what I'm looking at, the roof of it does seem to be just sort of timbers going, going up. The roof caught fire quickly and spread fast because her roof was made out of very old wood. Of course, we all know the older the wood is, the more dried out it becomes and easier to catch fire. However, that was only half of it. When Notre Dame was renovated throughout the centuries, instead of going through the trouble of removing the old wood, they simply added more wood. Each time she was repaired or renovated, they kept adding more wood to her. Therefore, fast forward to 2019, and the roof had centuries of extremely dried wood, giving any little start of a fire an extreme fuel to burn both quickly and long. Quickly because of how old and dried the wood was, and long because of how much extra dried wood there was in her roof and creating, you know, a roof fire and a, you know, a very, very significant one. That spire that you see in the middle, um, a spokesperson for the cathedral tells that that is where the fire started. The fire broke out shortly before seven o'clock. For this to happen during Holy Week, the holiest week of the year in the Catholic Church is just heartbreaking. <laughs> Oh. 
the spire collapse. There it is. There is the iconic spire of Notre Dame Cathedral that has stood for centuries, collapsing just moments ago after burning for about 45 minutes or so. There it goes. Just devastating to see that. For centuries, it has towered over Paris, there from the heart of Paris in the fourth arrondissement on the Ile de la Cité, and just moments ago, it collapsed. Even in 2019, Notre Dame was one of the tallest structures in the area. And up until the Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889, she was the tallest structure in Paris. This is a functioning church. And as you say, we are already in Holy Week. And there would have been services constantly going on at Notre Dame this week. So this is the idea that this church will not be functioning on Easter and is collapsing around us. This is tremendously upsetting. The history of France, it was sort of built in the 12th century and it took two centuries for this cathedral to be completed. The choir and its two ambler trees were built first, and then the nave, side aisles and the galleries. The foundation for the facade was laid down, and last of all came the upper gallery and the famous two towers on the outside. The building work came to an end in 1250, but additional construction and adjustments were made until the end of the 18th century. And in the sort of last 800 years, it has seen periods of devastation before. During the revolutionary years, Notre Dame was the victim of numerous acts of vandalism. The spy was taken down and the statues in the Gallery of Kings destroyed. After the revolution, it was again celebrated. Napoleon was crowned emperor there in 1804. But it's never seen anything as devastating as we're seeing today. We've never seen it structural damage like this. The North Rose window, and I'm gathering that the flames are quite close to that, is one of the finest works of art in, in Western art, period. Symbolically, it's hard to overstate, I mean, the importance of it for uh, for Catholics, for the French, too. I mean, believers and, and non-believers, it's in many ways a symbol of the country. Distance in France is measured from the Paris, the, the um, plaza in front of the cathedral. I mean, it's the symbolic heart of the country. Think of the wars it's been through. And that's why it's heartbreaking even to imagine that it might be, uh, it might be destroyed. This is a national disaster. I'm very upset. This cathedral is 850 years old, and to see the building fall to pieces, the spire fall down, just as we were renovating it, all I can do is pray. Fire crews from across Paris have come here to save whatever they possibly can, and the striking thing, standing among the crowds on the banks of the Seine, is just the silence, the quiet of people stunned by the destruction of not just a great French cultural artefact, but of one that belonged to the world. This is where so many giant world events, world wars swirled around, and there are paintings and there are drawings and there are architectural plans that were all stored here. Notably, there is also this. You may have heard people talk about the crown of thorns. I just don't know, looking at the extent of this destruction that we're looking at right now, how difficult it would be to, to rebuild the cathedral. It's one of the uh, great treasures of the world. Then it's burning very badly, it looks like it's burning to the ground. It was at this point when the fire completely consumed the roof, it was widely believed that Notre Dame couldn't be saved. But it was because the fire department wasn't able to get all the necessary hoses on the fire very quickly because Notre Dame was so high up. This is awful. It's terribly sad. It's terrifying. The fire is uncontrollable. I've been here for one hour and there's nothing we can do. You think of all that this that this building has survived. World War II, the Nazis didn't destroy it. It survived eight centuries. Our inability to save it collectively, it's just, it's just so sad. You, you wonder what went wrong. Notre Dame stood for over 850 years, or about 34 generations. She was apparently taken for granted by people in Paris and people throughout the world that she was always going to be with us. But when it seemed like we were about to lose her, it felt like we let all of our previous generations down. It was unsaid and certainly unwritten that it was our job to take care of her. 
But when we were about to lose her, I think many of us felt a sadness that our generation was the one that messed up the streak and couldn't keep her alive. Here the sense of emotion now that night has fallen uh, seems to be getting stronger. People are watching this unfolding tragedy with a great deal of emotion. Hymns are being sung uh, all around. So much timeless work and memories and history inside one place visited by kings and rulers and everyday men and women alike and now on the verge of largely being gone. It wasn't shown very much on the news coverage, but brave firefighters were placed up high in Notre Dame to spray the fire from the top because the fire trucks weren't able to get to the ideal height to hit the fire directly. Can you imagine the heat of that exterior stone with that massive fire burning for hours on the inside? The firefighters turned it all around just in time and saved Notre Dame once they were able to get hoses spraying directly on the fire as well as more hoses spraying water overall. It is also a story of survival. This is an edifice uh, that has faced many challenges, that has been attacked many times before, and has always managed, uh, because of the support and love that French people and indeed the people of the world have for Notre Dame, to rise up again. That just as the cross didn't have the last word, neither for people of faith in France will this fire have the last word. The basic stone structure now appears to be out of danger. They have managed to save at least that. The big question now, of course, is how much of the inside still remains. We've saved the crown of thorns and St. Louis tunic. I think we were able to save some chalices. The fire didn't reach the treasury, and then inside they tried to save some paintings, but, you know, it was impossible to save the big ones. When they're finally able to go in, burning embers were still falling when the first crew made their way in. The cross is still standing, seemingly unscathed. Could be just luck or maybe a supernatural nod that everything's gonna be okay. That's for you to decide. The great rose window. Tonight, it's rather battered and charred, but still largely intact. While firefighters were trying to beat the flames from outside, deep within the cathedral, a human chain was formed to salvage priceless art and religious relics. And this morning, we're hearing some extraordinary tales of bravery, including the chaplain of the Paris Fire Brigade, who rushed in there to save some of the most important religious relics, the crown of thorns. That's thought worn, Christians believe, by Jesus as he lay dying on the cross. When I visited Notre Dame, I remember leaving shocked that priceless relics, art, and artifacts were all in that one medieval building, which now has become clear that it should have been known there was a high fire danger. There's even saints and popes laid to rest underneath the floor. It's a little creepy and a little startling that some of the world's most storied treasures are in that ancient building, such as the crown of thorns and nails and wood from the cross. I would think relics such as the crown of thorns would be secured like the Declaration of Independence is secured in the National Archives building in Washington, D.C. But nope, it seems that if the building's on fire, the protocol is to yell to someone to grab the crown of thorns. Like, hey Lucas, see if you can grab the crown of thorns in there. We now know since this morning that 15 or 30 minutes delay would have been critical to saving the cathedral. And so we salute the firefighters' courage. We found that what we thought was indestructible can be damaged. Everything that makes France is alive and therefore fragile. And yes, we will rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral and it will be more beautiful than before, and it will be done in five years. The exact cause of the fire is unknown, but the fire is believed to have started from an electrical malfunction at the spire. We almost lost Notre Dame, but thanks to the heroic efforts of the Paris Fire Department, she was saved. Although some iconic parts of her and some priceless art was destroyed or damaged, the fire initiated a rejuvenated love and appreciation for Notre Dame. And as you can imagine, fundraising for her restoration began flowing in like water, literally overnight. I suppose it's natural for all of us to take things for granted that we assume we'll have forever. Is there anything you assume you'll have forever?
Now give this video a thumbs up if you think Notre Dame should be restored. Give this video a thumbs down if you think she's not worth restoring. Remember to subscribe for more investigative and body language videos that always seem to shake up YouTube. And I'll see you at the top. They're singing these hymns. You know what? I, I just want to listen briefly uh, to this, uh, this hymn right now.